Hello and welcome to the second part of my Ecstatica playthrough. I'm very excited to play this game again. In the last one I was getting used to the game and we did get a couple of hints. I would say there are a few loose ends we know about. For example the key, we don't know where that goes. And also we know we need the red flower, but we don't know where it is. When loading the game there, I did turn off the music. Hopefully that guarantees us not running into the same glitch I encountered a couple times in the last episode. I do like the music a lot in this game. But we could turn that on later, but just for now, I thought that might be a good idea. My first goal here is to gather a couple of those items like the carrot and the book that's in the monastery and keep them in that little room because it seems mostly safe. We're going to have to bring one thing at a time, but yeah, I think it is a good idea. And that way we don't have to keep track of where every single item is. We'll just have them in a localized place until we know where to use them. Oh great, I'm getting ambushed by this guy again. Let's see if I'm right, because I think it is a safe room, but let's see if he follows us. Oh shit, oh maybe he does. Ouch. Oh goodness. No, maybe not, because he's not attacked. Oh, wait. Okay, I'm kind of in the wall there, but alright. Hold on, we're gonna make it. Yeah, it doesn't look like he comes in here. Yeah, I think we're good here. The only thing threatening us here is these cute mice, and I think we'll be okay with them. Alright, so we're going to place this book down. So that's one. Oh, speaking of the book, I think, because of course I was seeing the footage of the last episode when editing it, and I think that book right there, the reason we couldn't read it is it's not like a journal. It's probably the magic book that the statues mentioned. If you recall, when we went to the stone pillars, they said, you'll need a book of magic and a relic for something to happen here. So that's what I would guess that purple book is. And that kind of makes sense now that I say that out loud, because I think when we were reading the diary, the author said that finally they have a book of magic and they were going to continue working in the dungeons. And that's where the dungeons are, so... Okay, that does make sense. Alright, anyway, so we got the little effigy here now. And after I collect these things, I think we should go... We have a couple of options, because I think we weren't able to really strategically look around this town here in the last one. Mostly we were pretty much just running away from enemies and trying not to die. So I think we missed probably a lot of paths. So yeah, I think it'll be worthwhile to look around and see what we missed. Okay, great. I don't know if I'm going to need multiple carrots, but it looks like I can pick up another one here. Because I actually don't recall where I put down. Oh, I put down the carrot right there. All right. We'll just bring this one I have in my hand because I'm already holding it, obviously. I wonder if there's an actual reason for there being multiple carrots there, or is that just like... You know, in case the player forgets where they put it, or just to be more realistic, obviously there wouldn't only be one carrot on the shelf, if that's what they're storing in there. But anyway, alright, so we got all the items here. Let me just see, is this, is this red thing on the bed something we can interact with? Oh no, she just picked up the book. Oh wow, I can carry this as an item. Oh, carry it to the little step to read it, okay. Let me see if we can skip this. Oh, I can. So I'm clicking five. I, I'm probably clicking any button will do this, but... Wow, that's interesting. Actually, wait, let me not... Oh, yeah, yeah, if I don't click the button, that's interesting, the text shows up. But if I do click the button, it skips the red text, but it keeps the character's reaction. That's pretty cool. I like that. I think in a lot of ways, this game is ahead of its time. You know, maybe we should carry the key around. There was a staircase and a door that we found in the last episode. I think that was at the beginning. Let's go over there. I don't know what's up with this guy. If we can get... Oh, maybe we need the goblet. We have to kill him later. That could be interesting. Oh, wow. That was cool. I love all the little events in this game. Like I said, ahead of its time. In my opinion. Okay. Let's see if there's a blue dragon here. Where was that little staircase? Oh, here it is. Here it is. Okay, let's try this. So uh, maybe she'll automatically use the key if this is the right thing. Let's see. Come on, come on. I'm really hoping this is right. Um. Nah. Okay. Um, I doubt putting it down. Nah. Okay. So the key doesn't work here. Maybe it'll be obvious, like there'll be a big lock somewhere or something. But okay. So that's cool. We jump down from that. Let's go... I guess we'll carry this around. There's no point in going back and putting it down. Oh, I should have saved the game. Let me do that. 
Should have saved it in the room, but we'll be okay here. Now, yeah, let's try to see if we missed anything. That's a really cool angle, because you can see the guy hanging there. That's cool. Can we go behind the bar here? Okay, no. This room's probably just to get the weapon and find the guy. Oh, wait. He's pushed us. Wait, can we go behind the bar? He pushed us over here. Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh, shit. Now, I wonder why the camera angle changed. It was like I moved. Oh, we're getting stun locked. Okay. I just put down the key. That means we gotta definitely reload. So we know we don't need to go in there. Let's try this little door that's right here. Oh, oh, yeah. These little guys are waiting for an ambush. Oh my gosh, I hate that. So this was happening to us. Oh, whoa. What is that, a mannequin? Oh, shit, my player just, my character just walked up to that. And I don't know if that was the idle animation, but it looked like something was happening. Okay. Oh my gosh. Maybe this dragon is a problem. Let's try to lose him. Let's go investigate that. Um, can we use the key here? No. Let's see if we can kill this guy. Oh my gosh, why do I always put everything down? Okay, so look, I'm circling him kind of. I'm trying to get him. Oh gosh. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, okay. Now we swing. Okay, now maybe we can stun lock. Yes! See, look, I love this. My turn to stun lock. Oh, he died in three hits. Okay. Okay, okay. I think I put down the key accidentally. But let's investigate this. Oh yeah, no, I tried to investigate this in the last one. You can't interact with this. Nothing here. Alright. Let's just see this little environment. Oh, this is how we go to the forest with those weird grape things. Okay, great. So I picked up the key again. Um, I know we're probably going to pick up a knife. Oh my gosh, this guy now? That sucks. Let's see if we can lose him. Maybe I can go around, like keep going in a circle here. Like, yeah, we can, we can go around this building, I think. Um, I don't think we're going to lose him, though. But this is the tavern. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, let's see if that worked. Now let me try walking. Oh, I'm damaged, so I can't. Oh, here we go, here we go, I'm walking. Okay. Alright, that was pretty cool. I'm glad that worked. So we lost him. Come on. Oh my gosh, are red dragons in here now? What the hell? <laughs> this guy wasn't even... Oh my gosh, why does a new enemy spawn? Okay, hold on, hold on. Yes, okay. Good. Okay, this weapon's good to stun like this. Okay, this guy died in three hits as well. Alright, is this the room? Let's see. Okay, here we go. Oh yeah, it has two doors right there. Okay. Um, a fire... And is this a fire poker or is this a sword? Let's see what this is. Oh, that looks like a sword. Oh, wait, that's cool. I was wielding it with two hands. Wow. Look, I'm telling you, the way ahead of its time, I can have two different attacks with the same weapon. This reminds me of Dark Souls, like you can two-hand it to get an up and down type of slash, and then you can one-hand it to get a left and right type of slash. That's crazy. Dude, this is awesome. So I guess if I'm holding the key, I can't do that, right? Oh no, I can still do the two-handed attack. Alright, so two-handed attack is if I click the left button. So we could leave the weapon here, probably not going to need it, because I guess the sword would be better. Well, let's just see, can I interact with this thing? Is that like a mask on that mannequin or something? Oh, yes, yes, okay. Uh, oh, wait. Oh, a suit of armor. Wow, that did not look like a suit of armor. Wait, so I could have just gotten this upgrade from the beginning? Or does it break over time? Wow. Did not know we'd be getting that. Oh, yeah, but does it make me heavy? Oh, it makes me loud, probably, right? Okay. That's really cool. So, you just walk back up here, and you can take it off. Alright, so if I'm in, a, like, a really hard fight, I can get a suit of armor here. Alright, well, let's go be more stealthy for now.
so we won't take it with us, but we know it's here. Something that would be really cool, I doubt this is in the game, but th that would be a really cool impact of the choice of not taking it. Maybe later in the game, the werewolf or some kind of other enemy. I'm calling that main guy that shows up here all the time, like Nemesis. I'm calling him the werewolf. But anyway, that would be really cool if an enemy would pick that up if you don't pick it up by a certain time in the game or something like that. That would be a cool idea. Well, these guys are pretty easy to kill anyway, probably with any weapon, but all right, we took that guy out. I'm assuming enemies, when you kill them, they're permanently dead, so it really does help you to take out the enemies, unless you just knock them out for a time. I'm not sure how it works. Actually, you know what? We can get behind this guy just by going right here, so can we just hit him and he can't kill us? You know what I mean? Like, we can hit him, he can't hit us. Oh, yeah, maybe we can kill him. Let's see if we can get the goblet. Oh, uh, yeah, see, I wonder if I just knocked them out, and I didn't really kill them. Let me put the key upstairs, and then we'll try picking up the goblet. No, I don't think that's right. And that makes sense, because it's kind of obscured by the camera angle. Like, you would think if it's an item he dropped, the camera angle would accommodate for that. Like, you'd be able to see it. Like, the, that way the player knows, oh, I should probably be able to interact with this, but okay. So probably that's that's not a thing. Wow, that's so cool. Look at that. In the background, you can even still see the rats. This is really awesome. Alright, so let's see. Oh yeah, maybe we never went down this way. Hey, this is the flower, right? Oh yes, I thought it would have a yellow middle for some reason. Maybe it did have a yellow middle in the picture. Okay, anyway. I don't know what the middle of the flower is called. Oh, is that an NPC? Or is that an enemy? Anyway, so we have all the ingredients. Let's go back and craft that thing. I think it's just a little doll. But yeah, let's go get that. Because that might be the relic I was thinking. Remember I mentioned that the stone pillar said that we need a book of magic and a relic? Maybe that's a relic. That's just an idea. I guess it wouldn't make too much sense to call that type of thing a relic. That's more of like a little miniature or just a doll, as I've said. Let's see what happens here. Do we just immediately put down the flower? Oh yes, okay, she put it down I think, right? Mm-hmm, I need some more stuff. Oh no, she didn't put it down. How do I drop it? Because you can't carry three items. Oh wait, did that work? No, I just put it down and standing up. I thought it was like standing up on the shelf. Oh. Wait, is that what I had to do? Put it down and then pick it up right in front of this? That was weird, but I put it in. But my character put it in that little thing. The little cauldron, I guess. Is that a graphical glitch? Yeah, look at the hilt. Oh yeah, that's weird. If things are up close to the camera, they become very strange. Oh, yeah. Okay, anyway. So that is one bad thing about this game, because I just put down the sword, but I put it down off camera, so if I forgot where I put it, I would never have been able to find it again, because, of course, I couldn't see it. Wait a sec, you can pick up the rat? <laughs> Why would I need to do that? That's awesome. Put that guy back down. Wow, that's so cool. I wonder if that's just there to annoy you, like if you put an item on the ground. Oh, no, here we go. Okay, so you just need to walk up right next to it and be in the right spot. Because my character automatically moved there and put them both in. Oh, this is so cool. How is a little doll going to come out of- wait, oh, you're supposed to drink- wait, oh, it's going to make me small? Wait, what? Oh, I love the sound effects. It made me into a chipmunk? Or a squirrel? How do I- oh, yeah. What the fuck? So I'm assuming you could change back just by drinking again here, right? Or does it last for a certain amount of time, is that it? What the hell? Why would you need this form? And that is not what the book looked like. 
Like, that's not what the picture looked like. Anyway. Okay, let's leave this room. What a weird little shuffle. That was a cool transformation animation, though. Alright, let's see. Can we run in this form? No, we just go this slow, weird walk. And turning is... You do a little jump. What is this for? Maybe you could be friends with the enemies? Like, like no one will attack you if you look like a creature like them? I don't know. Oh, wait a second. Okay, so you can be sprinting on all fours by clicking the duck button, which is five. Okay, so let me save since I'm like this. I don't know what we're supposed to do with this kind of form, but okay. And you know, let's try putting the music on. All right, we'll just run around, I guess. Maybe there was like a little hole in a wall or something that I missed. Oh, wait, maybe we can go. Yeah, wait a second. Now that I say that. I didn't think that was actually true, but wait, yeah, in the dungeons, we were too big to follow the girl. Let's try going in there. No way that's going to work. Oh, a little snake is here. So I wonder if we could pick him up, like we can pick up the mouse. Maybe the snake doesn't harm you when you're in your human form, but if you're like this, then the snake is an actual enemy. Yeah, I wonder. Okay, these little guys are here. Yeah, probably the little guys are more dangerous now. That's interesting. Oh, no, see, we got the audio glitch thing again. So, anyway, let me try this. Oh, wait, yes, that's right. Okay, hold on, let me save and reload. Maybe it's like when you pass by a certain area, it does that all the time? I don't know. Okay, here we go. So, there's a locked gate there. We'll walk very slowly, I guess, carefully. Another locked gate. Oh, those guys can go through the locked gates. He just crashed underneath it. I guess I could do that too. Maybe I have to open a door so I can come in here from another side as a human. All right, yeah, let's run through here. Wow, that's so cool. He's waving at the camera. I'm assuming you can't attack. Oh, I ran through him. Oh, that's a staircase. Wait, oh, maybe it... Oh, what the fuck? Anyway, maybe it is a limited time. Or maybe I had to come here in order to change. I honestly don't know. Let's see what we could do here. Ooh, I'm too old. Who's this guy? Where did we appear? What can I do? I, I, I. Er, who? <laughs> ah, do not approach me, you. Away. Out. Come on, do as I say. This guy's really going to attack me? Ow! Okay, okay, okay. Alright, so he does not actually like us. Okay. Come on, I just want to be friends. Oh, you can open the door. So yeah, am I right? Did we unlock? Hey, yes! Alright! Alright, so now we figured out how to open this. Okay, so it wasn't the key. You had to go around like that. Alright, so I'm assuming that you... Why is this scary music playing? Okay. I really like the adaptive music. I didn't mention that in the last one, but really nice. Once again, I've said it multiple times, but I think this game's ahead of its time with stuff like that. But anyway, I'm guessing you can transform like that again, and it's based on how long you spend as a little squirrel, and then you transform back. So, okay, now we know we have that ability unlocked. We could pick up the mouse, so let's see if we can pick up the snake. No. But now he's trying to attack me. The one in the forest did not do that. Okay, so this guy's song still plays here. The little tuba song, but yeah, he does remain knocked out or dead. But anyway, maybe you're supposed to go and to the fireplace when you kill him? No. I, you see that little black or brown circle there? I thought maybe that was an item or something he was blocking us from getting. All right, so we did go this way, but we stopped, of course, because we found the flower. It's kind of hard to know sometimes where you can go and where you can't, but okay, hold on. Oh, I tripped again. I don't know how the tripping mechanic works. Maybe that's what these little stones in the game are for. You trip over them sometimes or something. This guy looks like a friend. A bit less for you and a bit more for me. Some copper for a sick man, my lord. Um, okay, so we have to bring him some copper. I guess that means a coin. 
He'll probably help us out after that. What is it now, hmm? Ah, do not come closer, you demon. You thought I wouldn't recognize you? Everybody thinks we're a demon in this game. See that cross? Beware, tremble and flee. Away! You will not lure us. One needs to speak the word of God to enter here. Oh. Maybe that's what the book in the monastery is for. Okay, so we need some kind of password here. Do you not see my cross? Away, I said. Out. Alright. So, okay. Two more little things for us here. So this little guy. I wonder if you can kill guys in the game. I know we've been punching guys. But, let's see. Oh, poor me. Yeah, I really wonder, can you kill NPCs? Oh, fair. Farewell, misery. Oh, shit, did I kill him? That's so cool if, like, there are multiple outcomes. No, no, he's... Oh. Anyway, there are multiple outcomes for NPCs, whether you kill them or help them or something. There's nothing here. Okay, we'll come back here and see if this guy revives, but okay, maybe we just killed him permanently. <laughs> That's... The guy was watching as well there from the from the roof, so that's not going to help our case. He really will think we're a demon. Oh, the Minotaur man is here. Oh gosh, he's about to look at the camera. Let's run past him, I guess. We could try to kill him, but I, he was um, very fast in the last one. Oh, he's yeah, he's always sitting down. This guy, he's like a slow but powerful guy. I kind of like that because it makes him, it kind of characterizes him as confident as well. Because he knows he doesn't have to run after you or anything like that. He'll just take you out easily. He's kind of menacing like that. Oh, okay. Alright, so this is where the lady is impaled with the sword. Yeah. Okay. So he just dies right in front of our face again. Nothing here, it seems. Wow, that was so cool. You can see him through the window. Really nice little touches in this game. Like that. Yeah, looks like we can climb the stairs in the background there. Fuck, the werewolf man is coming. Oh, I hear a spring. Or a creak or something. Oh, yeah, I was going to mention this before, but I got interrupted. So when you get hit, you get knocked. Oh my gosh, the statue's pissing. Oh, goodness. That's a bow and arrow, though. That seems cool. Anyway, you get knocked backwards. Always. So if you're facing away from the enemy, you'll get knocked towards them. You know what I mean? Oh shit, can we finally kill this guy with the... Oh, someone's coming. Why is the door open? Alright, hold on, let me run in there. The door opened for a reason. Oh my gosh, my prince, I've waited so long for you. But see, look, that's a werewolf in the background. Is that a picture or is that a mounted head? My prince, let me kiss you. Oh, a nice little frog, my prince. What are you talking about? Oh, yes, I love it. Wow. Oh, gosh, let me kiss you. All right. <laughs> I love how the horror music is still playing while this lady chases you down. Okay, whoa, whoa. Hold on. Let me see if we can kill the werewolf. Oh. Wait, she keeps going? Wow, this is awesome. She doesn't even hurt you. She just is kind of annoying, I guess. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Let me fight this guy one-on-one. -on -one. Let me save here. I think we could kill this guy with the sword. I don't know. But that would be... Very nice if we could finally take this guy out. Oh. Wait, yeah, maybe this is really good against him. Yo. This is good. He keeps backing up. Oh my gosh, this is a good pattern. Fuck, fuck, yeah. This tide could easily uh, turn here. Maybe the trick is to get him while he's rubbing his head. No, 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 no. Oh, I died. Okay, that was going kind of well. Yeah, 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 I'm ducking some of his attacks. The ducking is very generous, and I think you can interrupt your attack. What? How do I die like that? Anyway, I think you can interrupt your attack animation as well with the duck. So that is a pretty generous feature. Nah, I died again. Alright, I'll just try one more time. But he has, like, a lot of health because I'm doing kind of well, dodging a lot of attacks and stuff like that, but he's, uh, not dying. And I also wonder, maybe he's, like, an important character, so you have to kill him at a certain time in the game. Like, maybe we can only fight back 
against him and like kind of stun him here in this early part of the game, but we can't kill him permanently. So maybe he's like invincible, you know? Oh my gosh, okay. We have to avoid this guy, I can't kill him. Okay, so maybe we could do the same thing again, like maybe we'll go around this lake here. I don't know, oh, it looks like you can't go in the lake. Um, yeah, I want to go talk to the woman. I want to see what you could do there. She liked getting hit, so I don't know if you're supposed to hit her. Right? We might just accidentally kill her again. Like, just like we killed the other guy. But anyway, I think maybe we lost him now, so... We'll see. The door should open again, right? Okay. Yeah, well, wait, the scary music, yeah, <laughs> turned on when you opened the door, so... I guess it considers uh, her an enemy. Or something like that. Nothing here. I'm just checking out what we can interact with. Probably you could pick up this. Oh gosh, why do we want the broom? Whoa! We can fly around now? Oh wait, she was a witch. Wait, was she the witch? That wrote the diary? No way. But that's why she has all the little potion things here. Is this a limited time as well? Okay, I don't know where the woman went. But alright. I don't like the sound effect for when you go forward with the broom, but okay. What is the point of this? Also, I'm not in too much danger here. We could have chilled with the uh, intense music once again. Stop! Step away from this blazing creature! Zara! Oh shit, this guy's, this guy's powerful. Oh, we're a frog. Oh, maybe you have to go back to the lady and she kisses you and you're not a frog anymore? I don't know if we can find the lady. Also, you can see how fast the text scroll is sometimes. I don't know why. Oh, the Minotaur has a stool. That's kind of cool. Let's see if this works. Oh, a nice little frog. Oh, a nice little frog. That's all you have to say? <laughs> did that work or did that not work? Was that just a timer? My prince. Oh, yes, I love it. All right, let's just try hitting her. No, maybe she's invincible. Okay. We gotta turn the music back off. There's no reason for this. Anyway, there's another werewolf head over here. Oh gosh. The music's not turning off and this woman's just following us. Oh, wait a sec. Why do I hear music? I just turned the music off. Okay, that's kind of cool. Wait, wait, yeah. Oh, here's the sword and here's the broom, I guess, right? Oh, gosh, please don't zap me. None but a knight may enter this castle. Go, I'll turn you into a green misery. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on, hold on. Let me just get my weapon, bro. No, don't do that. Oh, gosh, maybe we interrupted it by... Um, Oh, goodness. But there's nothing here. Why can't I pick up the sword? Oh, wow, and the broom is floating over there. That's cool. Ah, yes, here we go, here we go. Don't worry, I'm gonna leave and become a knight. Don't worry, son. Okay, this is cool. At least we figured this out, kind of. All right, let me not speak too soon. No, 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 don't shoot me. Okay, we managed to escape him shooting us. Probably because I was interacting with the items when he was. What is the point of riding this broom? This is definitely meant to be funny because it has a car motor sound. I don't know, I don't really like it. What's the point of me doing this? It's much slower than walking. Can I speed up with this? No, you just go this speed. Maybe you could fly over the lake or something? Oh gosh, this doesn't look good, but this is how you go fast. You constantly click the forward button. Oh goodness. Oh, and me holding the sword at the same time. Oh no, that's just a glitch with the camera. Ah, strange. Ellipsoid graphics. Oh, you know what? Maybe walking with the knight's armor, maybe that's really slow and really loud, but if you ride the broom, you're more mobile? Maybe that's it? That could be interesting. But anyway, going all the way over there. Oh shit, no, no, don't kill me. Don't kill- Oh fuck. Let's save the game. I'm fucking dead. 
Oh shit, yeah, maybe, okay, I didn't mean to go in here, but okay, maybe it's a safe area. Yes, yes, okay. We brought the broom in here, I don't know why. And also, I did turn the music off. Yeah, the music's off and it's still playing. This game it does have a couple bugs, unfortunately. Especially related to the audio, which is sad. Wait, what? Oh, wait a sec. Hold on. Oh, I love how the broom floats around. It shows you it's magical. That's cool. Let me just test this out. I think pressing 7... Oh, you can kick on this. Okay, wow. Oh, and you can back up just by holding, going back, but you can't go forward really too much. Oh, well, you can, but it's a little slow. Alright, anyway, we'll put the broom down. The motorized broom, we'll put it down. Anyway, okay. We're going to become a knight. Let's go get the armor. I think we did make this area safer by killing the dragons. That's pretty cool. Because we're doing okay. Nobody's really popping up. Oh, yeah, I gotta interact with this? Alright. And you know what would be another cool feature? Maybe if you attack the werewolf more. Like, maybe I'm right, he's invincible. Until you have to kill him during the story or something. Maybe you have to kill him at the end of the game, I don't know. But anyway. If that is true, it'd be really cool if, if you hit him, he shows up less. Because you, you know, damaged him way more. I love how I thought to combine the set of armor with the broom. But I just left the broom over there. That was kind of foolish, but I wasn't thinking. Yeah, we have one speed. Let me see, can you sneak? Oh, you kind of can. I think that's different. No, that's the same walking cycle. Okay. You only have one speed when you're... What the fuck? Oh, wow. Wait, what the hell am I supposed to do? I'm spamming the buttons right now. I'm literally stuck like this? What the fuck? Is this scripted? Or is it just, if you happen to trip, you're definitely dead? Wait, who is this guy? Is a human? What the fuck? <laughs> Did I steal his armor? That's why he's upset? He's a blacksmith? And what? Oh, wait, what? It, I was kind of excited to see what the death screen is. Why is this the death screen? Okay, here we go. So, yeah, maybe that's the purpose of the broom. Like, you're way too heavy and you're way too clumsy with the suit of armor on. So you have to get around another way. That's a really cool puzzle. I'm surprised I kind of figured it out, if that's right. Like, right off the bat, uh, just as a guess. Alright, I died. But anyway, we'll see if I'm right by testing it out. Yes, yes, finally, please. Yes, yes. Oh my gosh, wait, this is not a safe area. Fuck, okay. Let me see if I can fight him, I doubt it. I'm dead. So I like the humor in this game so far, and I think this is obviously supposed to be very funny. Like, the motor sound, and it's just so hard to use, but this is not striking me as funny. This is striking me as very annoying. Especially since that sound effect keeps playing. It's just faster for me to keep spamming it, because you get a little boost of speed. Yeah, look at that. The music's off, but it just continues to play. That's so funny. Okay, so let's save the game. We'll actually save this at 20. There we are, 20th save. All right, now let's go get the suit of armor. Hopefully we don't get interrupted. All right, so this is just when you hold down the button. This is the speed. And get the suit of armor on. So I'm assuming, if I'm right, it's just we walked way too far. Alright, come on, come on, this has to work. Yeah, yeah, I think... Oh, I fell down. So that's not right. Let me see if there's a way to get up. Maybe that's what you have to do. It's unclear what's working and what's not, because I'm holding down the button, but I don't know if I'm affecting anything. Wow, so I can't believe that was wrong. Because that kind of makes sense. Oh, wait. Hold on, do I have to spam the button very quickly? So look at this. If I click 7 or 9, she'll do that where it looks like she's turning to the left and lifting up her right leg. And then if you hold down forward, 
she does this, where she kind of tries to get up, lift herself with all fours. I don't understand. What are you supposed to do? There's no way I'm locked like this, right? Like the game's just over if I fall down. Maybe you have to be very careful and not walk by any stones. Maybe that's what you have to do when you're wearing armor. Because I've been trying to get up here with different button combinations. Because it seems like I'm impacting it. Because, like, look, I'm not touching anything. Oh, shit, she's still doing that. Let me see. Oh, yeah, she's still doing these things. Wow, this is weird. Okay, I'm not touching anything there. So hold on, though. But I can restart the animation. See, I'm impacting it now. I'm just pressing the button. So it looks like you, you're supposed to be able to do something here. Unless that's just nonsense. Like, yeah, look at this. See, look, I'm getting her to do the same thing. No, that's not random. I don't understand. But okay, let's reload. So I'm going to try avoiding all stones and all broken bricks and stuff like that. That would be pretty interesting, too, because the whole game before you wear the armor, they just impact nothing and you do trip over them. So I guess that's a little bit of foreshadowing, but that's pretty cool because now an environmental detail that you didn't have to pay attention to is now pretty important. And it didn't appear out of nowhere. It was there the whole time. But again, I have no idea if that's correct. We're going to test it out. And also, maybe I won't take too many steps. Like, I'll stop every once in a while. So yeah, we'll go through this door because there's no stones. This is actually pretty cool too because if we... Well, we definitely have to bring the armor because the guy said only a knight can pass. But that's actually pretty cool because now the Minotaur, he's very slow. And we could easily outrun him before. As long as he wasn't stun locking us. But anyway, oh no, as soon as you go on this screen, that happens. Oh, and you fall on your back after that. Yeah. All right. And then that guy's definitely going to come, right? And kill us. Let me try going a different way. This fucking guy. But we should have a nice amount of, like, you know, defense. Because, oh, am I slower to attack as well? I can duck. That's good. Oh, my gosh. I hope the armor makes me, like, invincible to this guy. I'm going to avoid this little brick here. Yeah, I think this is right. But also, he is backing away. Uh, maybe we should not hunt him down. Alright, let's keep going. So obviously, I'm taking a longer route. But if we go on that other screen, as we saw twice, we automatically fall down. So I think I know what to do here. I think we just go around this way. We have to go to the building with the woman that was stabbed on the table. Alright, I think we're here. Yep, this is it. Um, so I'll try fighting this guy again, but... I love how we do not get staggered back as well. Like, we don't get pushed back by his attack. So I wonder if we are getting damaged at all. Let me use this opportunity to try to kill him. Oh my gosh, this could be perfect if he's really stuck in between the chair and the wall there. But sometimes I'm like right up close to him and he doesn't get hit. I don't understand that. Yeah, it's happening a couple of times there. Nah, I think this is impossible for now. I don't know if you need a special weapon or what it is you have to do to kill this guy. But this is not working at all. We, uh, maybe we are invincible because I've been alive for a long time here. But I was just hitting him and this is like the best position because he's stuck in there kind of. It was really good. And I hit him a lot. I'll put on screen the amount of times I hit him. So yeah, that really convinces me that we're not supposed to kill him or are not able to right now. I, I don't know. But that gives me serious doubts. Otherwise, he's like really, 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 really hard to kill. And it's just like a special Easter egg kind of thing if you manage to kill him. You know what I mean? Like a bonus if for uh, tenacious players, I guess. So let's keep going. This is working. And I guess... We should save here. But it is very slow. This is not a very fun walk to this place. But I kind of do appreciate this kind of puzzle. It's kind of unique. I don't think I've ever seen anything like this. Imagine if there were save points and you had to, like, do this whole route in one go. That would be really annoying. Because then that would be a lot of trial and error with a lot of repetition. But at least here we can save and quickly retry. So menacing how my character's walking towards the camera. I wonder if I'm doing this the intended way though. Maybe this is so slow because I'm missing something. But if I was missing something, I would imagine it would be like the broom. Where 
you have to get some kind of item for mobility, which that's the only thing I can think of, but that was wrong. Because as soon as I tried to ride it, as you saw, you just fall down on your back. Whoa, that was weird. It looked like he just popped in there. Okay. So I'm gonna save right here. I don't know if we can get killed, like I said, because I took a lot of hits from the werewolf, but maybe this guy could kill us. Anyway, I was going the wrong way, so I walked all the way back here, and I think we have to go up the staircase. No, maybe we're good. Maybe, yeah, we just walked by him. Oh, I tripped there. Um, I'm clicking forward. No, we fall back. I think, yeah. We, I don't know if that was because he was hitting me. Oh gosh, don't tell me we can't go this way. We have to go here. Let me see. This would be a lot easier to test if this guy wasn't here, but let me try going in the little grass, I guess. Oh my gosh, I hope we don't trip. So yeah, I like how you can still duck, but... Which I guess is kind of strange. No, you trip right there. Maybe there is a way to get up. I don't understand. Oh wow, that guy spawned in behind us. That's pretty cool if there's a way to get up. You have, you have a limited amount of time to do it, but I don't understand. I wish there was an indicator about on the ground, like on what I would trip on. Okay, he's not here this time. Um, I guess let's save just in case. No, you trip right there, absolutely. Okay. Come on, come on. Oh, that is so sad, because you get up. You get up for a second. Ah, oh, that's so sad. Okay, so I returned here to see if there was an alternate route, but no. I tried a lot of different things, like walking against the sides of many of the different... I don't know what to call them, actually. Not They're not really rooms, but you know what I mean. The, all the areas where there's a different camera angle. I tried walking, like off screen to try to see if there was another path, but there wasn't. Alright, come on, come on. Nah, that's an absolute failure as well. Maybe, let me try using what's in my left hand, like the broom, to help me out. Oh, I can kick! That's what that animation is. So, no, that makes me think you're really supposed to get up because I'm, like, kicking if there's a nearby enemy. Give me a little bit more time or something, right? All right, honestly, I don't know. Sadly, I gotta give up on that. I don't know. We're gonna have to come back to that mystery later, but okay. So we have a broom and we can pick up a suit of armor. We don't know what to do with it. I'm pretty sure you have to put it on to be recognized as a knight, but I guess that's not working. Wow, so I don't think we're stumped. I think there's a lot more that we just haven't seen yet or maybe just some clues we haven't found yet, but we'll go look around. I'll go look for some new areas. Maybe that'll be good. Maybe we can come up here when we Oh, this guy's here. But that door's open. Uh, that gate, I mean. I thought maybe we would have to come back as the little weasel. Let's see if we can run by this guy. Yeah, can we go in here? Master, master, another one is coming. Oh, I'm dead? Oh, he told the guy to close it, right? Okay, that's pretty cool. Oh, wow, that's so sad. I thought we were going to get a lot more death screens. But it's only these two... We've already seen. You know what? We're here anyway. I'm gonna go into the weasel form and try to go in there. Let's just see what happens. You can do it again, right? Yes, okay, here we go. So I wonder if uh, I'm gonna have the sword or do I put it down when I become a weasel? Probably yeah, I put it down. Okay. Oh goodness, I don't like being a little weasel squirrel guy. Oh yeah, the werewolf, he does notice me. Okay, I thought maybe he would be friendly since I'm not a human, but he knows. Okay, so we're running quickly up here. I do like how you can run like this. That's cool. Oh, maybe if you try... I don't know why that happens, but maybe if you travel a certain distance, it, um, it goes away. All right, so we cannot enter here, it looks like. Oh, wait, the guy's not here. No, he is, he is. Another one is coming. Nah, that's gonna close on me again. Let's see. Alright, nothing's here. Alright. 
But let's keep going. So... Now I'm wondering, where even was that place? Oh yeah, the pissing statue. Fuck. I don't want to fight this guy though, but we have to investigate this. Um, where even was the place? Oh, it was back here. Okay, so we still couldn't make it. Alright. I really do not understand what the point of the woman following us is. So there's another staircase right here, I think, right? What do we what do we do over here? Oh, that's this. Okay, so there's two entrances. Alright, I wonder okay, if that's actually like a gameplay thing, like you can enter two different ways. Alright, I died. But let's go check out this statue. Oh, and by the way, when I was wearing the armor, I did try to kill the Minotaur. Because I was like, alright, might as well kill him now. But he might be very difficult to kill, or also impossible, like the werewolf. Because he's so fast, that I couldn't get a full attack animation in. So he would always interrupt me. And he was just like, constantly staggering me. Maybe that's what the bow and arrow is for, you could have killed him from far away. Nothing here. Um, is this guy gonna shoot us? He's just scratching his back with the arrow. Nah, maybe we gotta bring some kind of item here, but okay, there's nothing for us to do here for now. Oh, Minotaur. Okay, let's run away. We don't have to go this way anyway. Ah, okay, we've been here before. But where's that lady with the flute? She's gone. Ah, okay, maybe we never went back here. No, we did when running away from her the first time, but okay, we didn't go down here. Nice. Okay, we're going into like the valley over here. Wait, yeah, where are we going? Alright. Let's see, maybe there's a new musical track here, so let's put the music on. Oh, yes, I was right. Don't tell me this guy's an enemy. Is he an enemy? Yes, yes, okay, let's try to kill him. No, 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 wait, let me save. Oh, I got him in like two hits. Just gonna check. No, it doesn't seem like he has anything, okay. So how do we go down? Oh! A dungeon, or what? Oh wait, yeah, we did- Oh my gosh. Why am I dead? Maybe you have to be the weasel to go here. See, look, this is so nonsense. That should be another death screen. Why? Okay, I guess they picked up my body and brought it here and hung it up. But okay. You would at least expect that, because that was kind of a unique death. But let's try that again. I doubt walking carefully would help us there, but... Um, yeah, you might have to be the weasel or something. Or maybe you need the broom? I don't know. Okay, I killed him. Alright. So, like, I'm thinking maybe if we don't go fast. Like, it won't... No, it will, it will kill us. Okay. I was just stepping forward very slowly there. Like, clicking the button multiple times. And it still got me. I thought maybe it would appear and then we keep going. Also, that's weird we got this other screen. Alright, so I will at least kill this bird, but we can't go here for now. That reminds me, we can go into the dungeons where the skeletons were. We could try that. So we took that guy out. I'm hoping that this is a small amount of progress that we keep killing the enemies. Like, I hope they're permanently dead, because we are kind of lost right now. I wouldn't say we're stuck because we didn't try every available option to us, but yeah, we are making slow, slow progress here, so... I hope that is a little bit of extra progress. Just the enemies will stay dead and that'll make it a little easier for us. Oh, here you are. Okay, I wanted to see if we can kill her. Um, I don't, am I gonna go to sleep? I, I think maybe you go to sleep if you're close enough to her, but hold on. Yeah, cause we can still hear it, but she's not going to sleep. All right. No, 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 Minotaur, no! That was a cool death, but come on. Oh, I climbed back up! Wow, that was cool. Okay. I don't know if there was a tell for that. I don't know if I just didn't see him. Beautiful song, but I will kill you. Yes, yes. This might be possible. Because we don't die. You know, we just fall asleep. Although it does take like 10 or 20 seconds for me to do this animation and then get back up, so... 
This might be annoying, but maybe we can kill her. Maybe we need the flute for something. Oh, I dropped my weapon, I think. Yeah, here we go. I got her, I got her! Uh, this is in my right hand, so let's click left. Nothing here. Hmm. Damn. Yeah, maybe you're not supposed to kill her. Like, maybe you need her for something. Because you do not get the flute. I'm just trying to double check not to miss it accidentally. But no, you definitely don't get the flute. Okay. Wow, strange. I was trying to go check if there's anything in here, but you just hit your head. I wonder if that can kill you. Because she does this dying sound effect. I got confused there. Wow. Maybe you have to be the weasel to go in there as well. I don't know. Alright, we'll try that later. The only reason I tried that is because when I was fighting the werewolf before, you might have saw that he backed up in there. So I was like, oh, okay, you can stand in there. Maybe there's something there. Like another room. Alright, so we went back here and I just saved just to be safe. But now we're, of course, nearby. And we're running right into the church, which might be a monastery, according to what it said in the manual. But anyway, okay, let's go down. And speaking of the manual, maybe we should look at that poem thing I skipped over. That might have some more information that gives us some context. Yeah, let's go down here. Alright, before that, let me reload because this music is doing this. Alright, honestly... I know this might be inconveniencing me, but I kind of want to have the music on. I think it's just that one track that's causing the issue with that sound. Anyway. Oh, these guys block us over here. Alright, maybe we have to fight all of them. Oh, wow, yes. Nice. They might not be able to hit me, but I'm hitting all of them. Oh, oh yes, 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 yes. Okay, they only took two hits. Oh, that was really nice and efficient. It's still playing this scary uh, music, even though we killed them all. Alright. Alright, nice. Let's definitely save that. But let me just see what's in the next room. Oh. I don't know if we're going to get locked in here, but okay. Going in. I guess we'll just walk. Just to be safer. Ooh, look at this. I bet you could definitely fall down, right? Oh, no, you can't. I'm kind of walking against it. Alright, so let's go. I turned running back on just to, you know, be faster. I do like those little heads down there. I guess those are statues. Pretty creepy, I guess. Ooh, this is a cool camera angle. That is a really cool aspect of the fixed camera type of game. It can result in really cool angles, and I really liked it before because some of the angles show off and uh, make more prominent an enemy if he's placed there, or an item, which is pretty cool. So I like how the designer can closely uh, account for what the player's going to see. What the hell is this? Some kind of orb. Ah, oh, no! Ah, oh, no! I don't like that! I don't like that! I really don't like it at all! Oh, we're running away. That's awesome. No way! I can't do anything there? No way my, my character's going to run away again. Let me check that out. No way. We need to become braver in order to do that? What? Wow, that killed me! The door just closed on me? I wonder if that's because we returned, you know, after that happened? Or did, was that just random? I don't know. Let's try again. See, that was foolish, because since we ran back up, we should have uh, saved there. But next time, I'll save and then try the door again. That was an awesome reaction from our character, though. I guess, if you think about it, that it kind of is nice design, if you're not supposed to go back down here again, because instead of letting the player go all the way back down, then the character runs all the way back up. If you just try to test it, you just die to the door, so that kind of tells you immediately, okay, I'm not supposed to go there, so that does make sense, but... Alright, and now I have saved, so let's try one more time. Most certainly we will die. Let's see... Yeah, okay. And I have no idea why. The player getting hit sound, like that little cry she makes, I don't know why. That sounds broken sometimes. But yeah, the audio's weird in this game. I really like the audio, like the sound effects 
and the music, I think they're very good, but they're just a little broken sometimes. So we ran out of there, kind of made progress because we discovered that, but we didn't really get anything done. Maybe we have to go in here again as the weasel. I could definitely see that, like maybe we missed a couple things. But we did unlock that area, you know, by opening the door. So let me try two things. Let me try being the weasel and going into the fireplace. Then let me try going to that door we opened from the other side and seeing if we could do anything there as a human that we couldn't do as a weasel. Before that though, let's look at that thing in the manual. We might as well now. I doubt it'll give us a hint, but let's just check it out. At the very least, it'll make us more immersed maybe. So here we go. For the love of one shall briefly disclose the matters of mine, which the ancients do alchemy call, or others alchemy. Wherefore it is here, understand you shall, this wonderful art and gift of the Almighty, which was never found by labor of man, but it by teaching or revelation began. He, or more surely she, so as I find, of noble mind, who searched nature will find this art in manner of physic and magic natural. But... All these writings are very dark, despise all books, and them defy, wherein is nothing but recipe and acipe. No. Recipe and acipe. I think that might be recipe and acipe or something, because I'm trying to look up acipe, and it shows up as a Latin word, so maybe that's not supposed to be the English word recipe either, but anyway. Few learned men within this realm can tell thee aright what I do mean. I could never find a man but one which could teach me the secret of alchemy, and that was the old man on the close of Tyrick, the guardian of our castle. Okay, maybe that's that guy who cast a spell on us and made us into a frog. This old philosopher wise, but way of kind in sundry wise, a demon made prisoner of the stone circle. This devil, one of the worst, so as I find, through our craft only, could be defeated the nature of evil both in substance and in figure, but teacheth the great work, a foul labor, not fit for lesser men or women, in which is found great travail, with many perils and many a fail. Whomsoever thou art that presumest to dive into the fountain of work and hopes to obtain by ambitious enterprise the reward of our art, I tell thee by the eternal creator for a truth, for all truth, being small is going far. If thou keep thy secrets in store unto thyself, thou hast conquered the power and all the devils thou holdest at will. Maybe for wise men done, say store is no sore, but women no more. Ecstatica 928 AD. So maybe that contextualizes the name Ecstatica for us? Because I don't know why that name would be there, except if it's the name of the person that wrote it. You know what I mean? So maybe the game is named after this person who wrote this. Maybe it's a stretch that Ecstatica is that woman we saw that was kind of sleeping or preserved in the water and she had that floating orb above her and our character got scared and ran away. Maybe? That's probably a bit of a stretch, but that's one of the only women we've seen so far. One of them was dead on a table, so it's probably not her. And then the other one was the large woman that was chasing us around and trying to kiss us and liked getting hit. So I don't think that's the author of that, but maybe I'm wrong. So who knows? I'm glad we looked at that. That was a little hard to read because obviously you could see I didn't know how exactly it was supposed to be read, but I did my best on that. Anyway, probably the last thing we'll try out is just going to be the weasel and going to, into the fireplace. Maybe that's just like a cool little Easter egg. Just a fun thing they put in where... Oh yeah, it's so funny because your character hits their head on that. But I'm kind of thinking it's more than that, like a hint, like you're too tall to be in here. And then if this doesn't work, in the next episode, we'll start that off by going up the little staircase that's in the town here. Which, of course, leads to the door we opened from the other side, as I mentioned. Alright, so here we are. No, nothing's on that side. Oh, we got hit. No, don't hit me. I'm so cute. But also so ugly at the same time. No, see, look, we can both go in here, but there's nothing here. All right, that's just a little nonsensical Easter egg that you can hit your head on this. All right, nonsense. So I was really impressed by the game in the first episode, but in this one, I am a little bit disappointed by some things, but I still really like the game. 
I'm very intrigued by it. I can't wait to see what this game has in store, especially if we can find out more about its story. I really want to find that out, but I really like how the story is sparsely told. Like, a lot of it seems to be told in the manual, but also there's no, like, you know, expositional cutscenes. I kind of really like that. Pretty cool. Just as a... Oh, maybe we can go in here. Yes, yes, yes. Maybe... I was just running around here just to see if there's anything, but maybe we can go in here. Because it looks like there's a little gap in there. Oh my gosh, come on, that would be a cool idea. And I'm fucking dead. Let's see if there's a little scene that's different because I died as the weasel. Come on. Oh man, that would have been cool. Alright, so we still get this one. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you have any ideas about anything here, definitely let me know. <laughs> but yeah, we're not totally out of options yet, so we're not completely stuck. Anyway, I'll see you in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching.